Big chef, what's up, bro? What's good? What's happening, Brody? I am my boy was trying. Yeah, yeah, the H back, man. I just sealed the deal with them, man. They uh they reached out to me from my uh from my Google business page. And um and um man it went good everything went good they said they had a uh a guy that was coming out and taking care of their company vehicles but uh they said man he just stopped coming he uh rescheduled you know she said they just got to the point where they felt like dude didn't want to be bothered no more or something so they say man she said I, I was the first person that uh that popped up when she googled. So that made me feel good. I was like, all right, well, that's what's up. And they ride uh, shit. They right next door to me. They in Benicia, but they the yard is in Vallejo. So I got uh I got five of their vans tomorrow. We, and we just sealed this deal today. So they want me to come tomorrow tomorrow morning at eight. And uh, knock out five of their vans. It's only outside only on these ones. Uh, shit. Uh, quick 300. Shit. I charge the uh, like 60 dollars a van. Just for outside only. So we're going to see how it go, bro. We're going to see how it go. That's the first time I ever. Uh, experience uh, a deal like that so I guess I'm gonna be looking for more of these deals you know what I'm saying uh, some more of these companies I guess man if that's the lane you know the good lord gonna put me in that, that's that's the lane I'm gonna work you know so I'm just I'm just following his lead so so thankful and blessed. You know, so it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah, so I got to be there tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm going to do 40 vans there at the yard. And then they say, uh... One of the guys, he has a van at the house because he's out uh, working. But uh, they want me to pull up to him and, and take care of that one. So I said, no problem. I said, man, Big Blue will be there. He will be there, man. So yeah, man, big things popping, man, for 2022 so far, man. Uh, I hit the new year off with a bang. That was, that was perfect. New year, the first month of the year, and, and I got blessed with a little deal, so. Big ups to the man above, man. Big ups to the man above for putting your boy in position to generate an income. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, SIO2. Uh, I got to check and see if he got it in. I know he hit me and was asking me uh, what was up with you and the nano skins, the hyper dressing and I guess the nano suds. What's up, Pop? Shout out to Pandy's Detail. What's up with my guy? Pandy Detail is in the chat. 
Yeah, he was asking me, uh, he had hit me. I guess he seen me post it. Some, uh, some nano skin uh, product. And he was like, man, I got that. I was like, I was like, man, that's the picture from when I, when I was talking to you. So he was just trying to see if, uh, if, if, if that was something you wanted. I was interested, man. He was like, man, yeah. I'm like, bro, you got his number. Why you, why you hit me? <laughs> Which is cool, I ain't mad. He probably just feel comfortable that way. It's all good. So we gonna get it right. We gonna get it right. Mm -hmm. Get it popping, man. Get it popping. Yup, I'm gonna DM you his number. I'm gonna slide. I'm gonna slide you his number. Do I got it right here? I think I got it right here. I got it right here. I got it right here. Man, you got a pen or something? Or uh, tapping in your phone? Can you see this? Yeah, so between when I was the coach up in Mitch and the coach of the Rockets, I worked at TNT with the great Mark. You might can't even see the number. And I, they said, you got to have a, your QB sheet. And it was this one page list of every statistical category and where your opponent ranked, where you ranked. It's uh. Where you Two zero nine. It's a two oh nine number. Two oh nine. Five nine eight. Eight three nine eight. Two oh nine. Five nine eight. Eight three nine eight. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can barely see this shit, and this is in front of my face. Two oh nine. Five nine eight eight three nine eight. Big Rich, Big Rich. And how that impacted the game, how physical the game was back then, things that officials wouldn't see that are now the World Cup is, and you can't get any more than the NBA. Two oh nine five nine eight eight three nine eight. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, um career low shooting was forty three. I may even I might even go uh I might go live tonight on YouTube. Um, I got a couple uh live streams on my channel I had that I had did. One on Christmas Day and yeah, I think one on New Year, whatever. Uh just was talking about uh yeah, I was just, you know, basically talking to entry-level detailers, cats that want to go mobile, or that's doing it at home, in the driveway, or wherever they're doing it, and they just trying to get started. I just was putting out there some content uh, that probably would help some guys, you know, uh, just talk about, you know, uh, you know, equipment and tools you can get from Harbor Freight, and Certain little stuff, Home Depot carry that'll help you get started, you know, stuff like that, you know. Especially, you know, if guys is trying to get started, they ain't got no shot bag, they ain't, I ain't got nothing but a bucket. Like, I started with all I had was a shot bag. So I had to go buy me a bucket. I had to get me some soap. I had to get me some mitts. You know, just little stuff like that. So I was just, you know, shouting out to the, to the guys that's trying to jump in the game and I saw Detail Talk 101, I saw. It was pretty cool, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I could do a group wide, because I'm on stream, y'all. All I got to do is, uh, once I, once I, you know, figure out I'm going to go live or whatever, whatever, and then I'll have a link, and then I'll be able to send you the link. And all you do is just uh, tap on the link, Set it up, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then when I go live, 
Yeah. You just tap in, and then I, I can see who backstage. Like they can tell me who back. They could be like, okay, big shit backstage. I'm like, okay, he logged in. Let me bring him, and I can tell my audience. All right, I got shit and details about the come to the panel, so I'm, I'm about to bring him in, and bam, I bring you in, and shit, we on. Yeah, I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna send you the link. I'm gonna send you the link, and then uh. Yeah, and we can we can go up from there, man. We can go up from there. Try to get some good views. You know, uh, you know just have a good conversation of, of detail, detail talk. You know, you know how my, how, how, how how cat got started, and you know what, you know what was your reason for. You know, wanting to be in this industry and, you know, just got a little, you know, conversation. Healthy conversation. You know, I'll be, I'm, I'm trying to be one of them channels. You know, I'll be looking at Pan Organizer. I'll be looking at all these, these big heads. And I'll just be like, I think a lot of these detailers be intimidated. Uh, some of the big wigs, whatever, whatever. I just want cast to be able to come to a channel and be and feel comfortable, and don't feel like they have uh, they're uh you know they shy away from them, whatever. You know what I'm come on, come on, man, to the round table and, and let's talk about it. You know. Like I tell cats, man, if you got passion and love for this for this game or this industry of detailing, you're not going to worry about what nobody say. You're going to do your thing, and they're going to do their thing, and it's going to keep going. So, yeah, don't let nobody steer you away from your confidence of what you like to do. You know what I'm saying? Because all you do is get better every day, every day. You get better every day. Repetitions, repetitions, repetitions. Once you start doing something every day, you know, you like, oh, okay, I can do it this way. I can do it that way. I can add this. I can add that. That's how you get better. That's how you understand your craft. That's how you know where you're trying to go. What's up, Chris? What do you do? What do you do? It's one of my guys from the job. channels where it's, you know, it's cool, it's comfortable, you know, uh, I'm putting out some good content, you know, man, oh, I'll put it back in the truck, but man, I'm, yeah, I'm for the, I'm for the make me an extractor, I'm for the, you know what I'm saying, I got this vac master right here, I don't even really use it, you know, I do, but I don't, you know what I'm saying, I got this vac master right here, let me see it. I got this back master right here. You know, it's cool, it do a job. But uh I just figured that if I can if I buy me a, a mighty wine head, I already got the holes and all the other little stuff that I can connect to it. I'll use that for the meantime until I buy me a hot water extractor. You know saying ain't no need to uh buy no aqua pro bag. Ain't no need to get one of them. Ain't no need to go out and sp spend a hundred and forty dollars on a little bissel. Cause that hundred and forty dollars that you gonna spend on that bissel, you could put it towards that 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 mighty wine head and, and go to Home Depot and get you a detailer kit with the little holes and other little attachments. Man, you on? You on? Cause that that that, that shop back, you know what I'm saying? I got what five point zero horse horsepower, so it's. It's got some suction going. It's got some suction going. And then the, the mighty wine head, that, that's a powerful wine head because it, it got suction. It got lift. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to lift the dirt up. I mean, you know, it's cold water, but oh well. Oh well. You know what I'm saying? It, it'll get the job done. But, you know, I'll just put it like this. This is what I said I would do. 
I'm gonna develop if I'm gonna build an extractor like that, what I will do is I will take me a five gallon bucket, put me a spigot on it, fill it up with water, and I'm gonna drop that, that bucket heater in there and heat that water up. Once I drop that bucket heater in there and heat that water up, I'm gonna hook my line up to that to that spigot. And it's it's gonna gravity feed itself. It's gonna gravity feed itself. It's gonna fill up the water, gonna fill up that line. And I'm gonna be able to shoot it out my wine head. And I'm gonna be able to get the job done. Just like that. With hot water. I will have some form of hot water. And it will be consistent. So that's what I'm gonna do until I until I'm ready to spend that twelve hundred. That's what I'm going to do until I get ready to spend that 1200 I'm just going to build me an extractor, extractor hole that's going to hook up to my shop back. And, uh, and, uh, and rock out from there. Because I can always build a, a, a water hose. And I can run it to my, I can run that to my tank. And get water. So I'll figure it out. I'm gonna put it together and see what I come up with. Yup, yup, yup. And you got hot water right there. You know what I'm saying? Keep that, you know, keep that bucket heater in there. You know what I mean? As long as you can. Shit. Man, and work it out from there. Let me grab my Work it out from there. You got hot water. You got hot water. Yeah, so I just be trying to put my thinking cap on. You know, because I'm still balling on a budget. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations to myself. One year mobile. January 15th was my anniversary of me going mobile. And man, things have sure have changed. From when I first started doing this mobile stuff, where I'm at right now, man, my whole setup has changed. My truck has changed. My my setup has changed. I done added some different tools. I got a uh, new air compressor. I got a uh, 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 hooked up some reels. I got an uh, air reel, and then I got my uh, pressure washer reel mounted to the to my tailgate on my truck. So I got a new look. I got a lightweight new look my setup so my next thing i'm gonna do is because i'm gonna keep my truck but i'm gonna end up buying me a van but i'm gonna keep my truck because this what got me here but what i am gonna do is i don't know if you follow uh h h h2o detail supplies they all with covina and they've been you and they've been putting out these hundred gallon tanks man that i'm interested in because it's 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 gravity fed. Yeah, it's probably about it's probably about this tall. It's probably about 32, 32 inches high, 30, 35 inches high, something like that. Let me see. Let me see. So. So, yeah, so it's about, it come up to about right here. I don't know how wide it is, but it ain't that wide, but it's 100 gallons. And uh, basically what I'm saying, it, 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 it leaves a, a lot of room for you to have space. Ha, <laughs> 
Yeah, bro, I had to get creative, man, because, uh, you know, at the time, you know, my brain was spinning, you know, and I didn't have, you know, my funds wasn't, you know, wasn't correct, you know, I was, you know, I got the family, you know, we got the, you know, gotta have a roof over our head and all this extra stuff and all this, and I was just like, man, I need a water tank, and I was at, I was at the job one day, I'm like, man, I need a water tank. Water tank. Two days go by. I'm like, man, I need a water tank. So what happened was, I ended up having, you know, we got the 55 gallon drums for the soap. So I ended up having to change one off because we had finished one. I'm like, man, I wonder if can I turn this into a water tank? Cause if it can hold soap, it can hold water. And I started YouTubing and shit, man, and I seen the rain barrel with the spigot, and that was it. Once I seen the rain barrel with the spigot, I was like, oh, it's over. Man, I ran down to Home Depot, we got a spigot, a couple other little things, uh, both head fitting. Man, I came back to the job, shit, man, and my boy had the, uh, the uh, saw bit drills at the job. Man, I went in there and grabbed them saw bit drills, man, I drilled that hole. And it's history. It's been history. It's been history, shit. Uh, man, and it's been working fine for me. You know, I get nice pressure. Uh, I can do about five to eight cars with both of them tanks. Depends on the vehicles, too. But it worked. It worked. It worked, and shit, I just took what I had and put with it, you know, I already had the pressure washer and all that, so I was like, man, I'm on, and then, uh, my brother gave me that truck, you know what I'm saying, I just, I don't know where he called me, he just said, bro, you want a truck, I'm like, what are you talking about, what, what kind of truck, you just, man, you want a truck, I just, yeah, so when he got to me, I was like, oh, okay, and I told him, I said, man, bro, I'm gonna do something with this truck, because you gave it to me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do something with it. And that's what I came up with. What I'm working with right now. That's what I came up with. And shit. I'm proud of myself because, man, I, I did that shit with some scraps. You know what I'm saying? I did that shit basically with some scrap parts. You know what I mean? You know, soap barrels. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I did what I had to do, though. And it's working. And it's working to this day. It's, you know, I can construct a couple of things to make it better, but shit. Praise God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, I always say if it's a will, it's a way. You know, so that's what I did, man. And, uh, and I get a lot of, uh, you know, I get a lot of high fives and a lot of, you know, people congratulate me and be like, man, bro, that's, that's dope, man, how you, you know, you put that together, you know what I'm saying? It's like, man, you know, you, you, you did it cool, you know? I try to make it as neat as, as neat as I can, you know what I'm saying? I try to stay organized with it, just, you know. But a lot of people, man, they like it. A lot of people like that little setup, man. I just was like, okay, okay I'm good with it. Man, for real, bro. For real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. So, uh, it's been a good journey, bro. It's been a good journey. I'm blessed. I've met a lot of people, good brothers as yourself. Uh, and things, is, you know, things look good. And it's just, you know, I was telling one of my, my boys, you know, for me to get to where I'm at right now, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 
I don't have much, but what I do have, I know a lot of brothers would love to have it. So, basically what I'm saying is, I had to stick to my guns. I had to cut a lot of stuff off. I had to cut back on a lot of other things. And I had to keep my head down and stay focused to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? I knew I needed a generator. So I knew I couldn't go take wifey out to lunch on Saturday and go have breakfast that morning. I couldn't do that. So I, I need that hundred dollars. Let me put this hundred dollars over here. You know, I, I can't go hang out with the fellas this week. I need, I need this 50 of me. And I pinch and I scratch and I crawl. So I got to where I wanted to go. Man, I made it. I made it. I made it. Yeah. I've just been trying to, you know, add as I go. Add as I go. Add as I go. That, uh, that rigid 4.5 air compressor, man, bro, that, that thing worked like a champ, man. I mean, I use my tornado gun. I use my blow gun. I don't lose no pressure. You know, I'm consistent with it. Just, that thing, man, I'm like, okay. It's a little daddy performing like a big dog. I was uh, actually watching one of the guys I follow on YouTube and on Instagram, Serrano's Mobile Detail um, Dallas. Salute, love uh, one, salute. Yeah, uh, Serrano's uh, Mobile Detail um, Dallas. I, I, I follow him, and I be, you know, I be, you know, checking his page out. You know, like I, like I was saying earlier, you know, he one of them guys that. You know, he ain't, oh, yeah, you know, he got a comfortable channel, you know, he make you comfortable, you know, he ain't all, you know, he ain't all star out and, you know, all the extra extra, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's just simple, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I was uh, watching his channel one night and he was talking about this this air compressor. And uh, I was like, and, I, and it was a trick because I'm like, man, you know, I had the force, the foresters, you know, I, I bought the foresters because I seen you had the foresters. You know, and that's why I DM'd you and asked you about it. You know, I did a little homework and whatever, whatever. And I was like, okay, I need more SCFMs. You know, using these uh, air compressed tools. You, you know, the SCFMs is, is, is important. Because, like I said, I was losing pressure quick. You know, I get to using my blow gun. I got a baby. It. I just can't get in. I was having a baby because I was losing pressure, but I, I I learned how to I learned how to work it I learned how to work it, but uh, you know what I'm saying like brothers like you inspired me you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yes sir, you already know it, man. You already know it, but uh, yeah, man. You know what I'm saying. You know I try to take a little. You know, a little knowledge from everybody, little bits and pieces from here and there, and you know, and put it with what I know, what I got going on, and, and see what I come up with. You know what I mean? Uh, and that's just that's just that's just where I'm at with it right now. That's just where I'm at with it. You know, uh, I thank the Lord every day, man, because the Lord knows I put my head down and I made strides to make this happen with what I got. And, I'm, and it's happening. It's happening. You know, so. Uh, um, I know I'm getting recognized because I'm gaining more followers. Especially on my other page, I was gaining a lot of followers just out of nowhere. And I didn't really, you know, I still don't understand where they was coming from. You know what I'm saying? If it was just, you know, people following the page or interested in my content. Interested in my work, interested in myself. I don't know. You know, it just was, they just started, it just started just right now. This new page, I, man, I got people just, I'm like, damn, man, what was this? What was that? What was this? What was that? But it's all good, you know. Uh, I'm just proud of myself, man. I'm proud of brothers like you because you are inspiration. You inspire me. In this uh, detail industry, and, uh, you know, a couple other guys, you know what I'm saying, inspired me, you know, in this uh, detail industry, you know, to really go further, 
You know what I'm saying? Because I was like, man, I don't know if I want to go more. Like, I start, you know, watching you, watching Matt, uh, Snail, Roll Runner, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I can do this. I can do this. And, Lord be old, here we go. You know what I'm saying? That's why they always say, man, you can do anything. You can do whatever. Don't let, ever let nobody tell you what you can't do. Because you can do it. And I'm just, uh, I'm a, uh, a witness to that. Because I did it. You know what I'm saying? It might not have been with the best of the best. I might have couldn't go out and spend four, five, six thousand. I'm gonna set up, but guess what? I got a set up. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So things will get better. You know, I will end up with better equipment. And I'm, I'm turning that corner now. So, like I say, man, I'm, I'm be working on a, a new water tank. That's gonna be my next move. Uh, even if I gotta go down here to to Covina to. See what this water. I've been trying to. I've been internet searching and digging and digging to see who makes this tank or what's this tank's name. And I ain't been coming up with nothing because they ain't putting it out there on their page what type of tank it is. So, uh, which is cool, you know, it's cool. I understand it, but I'm gonna find out who makes this tank, what, what name of this tank it is, and all the stuff. Yeah, 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 because I, uh, on my YouTube channel, I did a, uh, I did a little, a video, uh, called Detailing with Harbor Freight. I did one Detailing with AutoZone. I did one Detailing with O'Reilly's. And like I said, I was just reaching out to the guys that can't make it to PNS or can't make it to 3D or can't make it to whoever, you know, to... You know, purchase the name brand supplies or whatever. And um, I just went in uh, AutoZone and just went down the road and checked out some of the stuff they had. And they had some good stuff. They had some good stuff. They had some, they had some stuff I would purchase. Not saying that, you know, they got a bad line. It's just that, you know, we go to PNS and we buy off the truck, you know. We basically passed the auto zone and the O'Reilly's. I'm not knocking it or nothing because they got good product, they got good stuff, and they got things that will help you if you're an entry level detailer or if you're a do it yourself or a beginner detail, whatever. They do got things over there that will help you. Because <laughs> auto zone got some, they got something right now that I'm going to go in there and buy. I've seen this, this little, little, little brush like for vents. It was like a, like a little Q-tip thing on it. Then it had a little brush on the other end. It was kind of neat. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Man, bro, let's do it, bro. Let's do it. I just was, man, I was really just thinking about, man, uh, just, you know what? Let's just build setups. I'm, I'm sitting here watching these, 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 these Mexican guys over in Covina. Uh, H2O and these other guys are statewide. I'm watching all these, you know, Latino brothers that's building these setups and they building them clean too. You know what I'm saying? They building them clean. Uh, I like the way H2O is doing uh, a lot of their uh, setups. I like, I like their stuff. I see H2O is plugged in with uh, Top Class, the little youngster Top Class, and. Uh, Hunter's mobile detail out in sack. Uh, see, they all, they all mess with Reyes Entrepreneur. Reyes, what he does, he goes around to detailers and help them create a YouTube channel. Or if they already have a YouTube channel, he basically takes over the page, I guess. Help you get it monetized where you're getting a thousand subscribers to where you can now generate money off your off your channel so i dm'd him and i think he the lowest package he had was like 2500 or 2g but 
on the back end, I was looking at some of the money Wayne from Hunter's Mobile Detail that he made off his channel messing with dude. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, oh, he coming to you next? Is that right? Serrano's, what's up, my guy? Okay, so so Rez is coming to you next, huh? That's a good thing, bro. That's a that's a good thing. I've been watching him on YouTube, and you know he's been helping these guys with their YouTube channel, and uh, and uh, man, they you know they they pretty cool. They pretty cool. I like I like I like what they got going on. They be having some good content, and you know it's. It's, it's 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 a thousand setups up there, you know. Out there, you know, guys, you know, working out of trucks, guys working out of cars, guys working out of SUVs. But it's all good though, man. I like some. I like their content, man. Reyes, yeah, he he's doing it. He's doing it. He's doing it. Yeah, yeah, my guy in the chat, man. My guy in the chat. I was just uh. <laughs> Uh, you ain't do nothing, my guy. You an inspiration, man. You an inspiration. I was just telling my guy, uh, Big Shift, uh, you know, I'll be watching your channel. Uh, you know, I follow you on Instagram. I, I, I watch some of your content on YouTube. And I was just telling Big Shift that uh, you inspired me to get the, the rigid air compressor because... Uh, you know, big big shift. He's a, he's an inspiration to, uh, of of mine. He, you know, I got inspired off, you know, some of the things he be doing, and and, 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 and uh, he was running the air compressor at one point in time, and I had asked him about it. You know, this was before we even knew each other. And, you know, I was like, man, do I want to DM him and ask? You know, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of, you know, I didn't want to, you know, because sometimes, man, these guys around, you know, we in the Bay Area, we in the Bay Area. So some of these guys around here, they be you know, you, if, if you don't have the right knowledge or if you want to know something or get a better understanding of something, it seems like some of these guys be like, ah, I don't want to tell you nothing. <laughs> and it would just be funny to me because I I never been that type of guy. You know what I'm saying? I always try to share my knowledge. I always try to uh, help people get better or whatever it is. It's just That's just the type of guy I am. But uh, I was telling Shift, you know, you inspire me about the... Uh, the rigid 4.5 air compressor because I had the Fortress from Harbor Freight, the four gallon, but it only had 4.0 SCFM. Uh, and I wasn't, you know, able to use it at a consistent rate, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they be shysty, man. They be shysty. They be shysty, yeah. But I was just, you know, telling Chef, you know, you inspired me on that rigid. And I went and bought that thing, man, and I love it. I love it. That's probably the best PC equipment I, I purchased so far. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, I was just, you know, telling you, man, you got a nice channel. Uh, I like your your content. I enjoy your content. Um, you know, because some of these guys on some of these channels, man, they can... Not, I'm not intimidated, but, you know, they can intimidate some of these up-and-coming guys, you know what I'm saying, and, Forcing them, forcing their hand to go out and buy all this major equipment that they probably don't even need at this point in time of your career. You have to learn and build and grow. I think that's the best way to just, you got to dive in and grow. And that's just what I did. You know what I'm saying? I logged on YouTube. I watched some of your content. And, um, let's see. Come on in here, my guy. What's up there, buddy? Oh, what's up, my friend? How you doing, brother? God bless. Oh, man, I'm, I'm well. I'm well. I'm well, man. Uh, just uh, sitting here talking to my guy, Big Chef. And just, you know, just having detail talk. And, Heck you know, yeah. You know, just uh, trying to be an inspiration to the younger guys that's coming into this industry and you know, that got, uh, you know, big dreams and, you know, want to, you know, want to get started. You know, like I, like I was telling sure, you, man. when I first started, all I had was a shop vac. You know, you got to start <laughs> something. You know, you hey. got to start, you know. That, that's all I that's have taking it old school. That's taking it back to, back. that's how I started with the, with the web vac and a, and a, and a bucket. 
Right, the rest, right. The rest was history, man. It, exactly. You know what? It, it's funny you say that. It, it's just, I feel like many people that are starting in this business, right? I think, and, and this is just an opinion for everybody watching. I feel like every after COVID, uh, co COVID was, was a, a perfect timing for everybody to really look into themselves, right? And I feel like it made them make a decision in life yeah. that made a lot of them business owners. And again, um, it's nothing against that, right? But many don't want to start their career because they don't have a fancy extractor. They don't have all the proper equipment they see on YouTube, right? And to be honest, coming from, you know, myself, when I quit my job, literally all I had was a bucket and um, – and a uh, web vac. And that's how I started. <laughs> I was doing detailers, detail, details from products from, let me see, my, my most used product was, oh man, what was it called? Uh, uh, it's a red bottle. You can find Mother's it at Walmart. No, no, it's a shampoo, a poultry shampoo. Um, man, I'll, I'll remember it. But all I had was, you know, basic products from, from Home Depot, from uh, Walmart. And that's how you get started, right? I would, I, I, I was old school. I was taught old school, so I would dip my wash mitt into the bucket right. with the product, and then blend it into the, into the cloth, and then I'll come back and agitate everything by hand, and then I'll just right. extract it, right? <clears throat> but if people are, people that are wanting to start in this business, literally, it, it it takes a minimal effort to to really get going. Yeah, you may not have the best equipment out there, but get out there. <clears throat> And put your name out there, right? That's put really the, the only way you're going to grow. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's the way, you know, uh, you got to be seen, man. You can't be afraid to go out there and, and, and show your talent. And, and, and one thing I tell a lot of guys, you got to have a passion and some type of love for this industry. Because, and the reason why I say that is because you know, you could be an outsider looking in and be like, yeah, I, think I want to try that. I think I want to, I want, think I want to do that. But you got to have a certain passion and love for auto if, detail. If you, if you don't have a passion for, for this, you ain't going to make it because you're you only focusing, you're only, you're only focusing on the, on the money side, right? Many detailers right. come, come into this business. Why? Because they see you killing it, right? They see another detailer killing it. Um, there's some detailers that they like flaunting their money, right? They're, they'd be like, right. man, I'm grinding, and they're showing all this money. Right. And, 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 and what happens is a lot of these detailers are like, oh, damn, you know what? I can clean cars and make that much money, and boom. Now they're business owners, and they're detailers or car washers, right? But then they realize that this business isn't cut out for everybody, and they realize that, dang, how is that dude making so much money, right? They focus on the wrong thing. They literally focus only on the money instead of really okay. focusing – Instead of really focusing on, okay, let me build my business, right? Because they think that it's so easy to make money, right? Right. <clears throat> but they lose the focus on that. And I tell a lot of people, like, people that come to me for trainings and stuff, and I'm like, do you love what you're going to be doing, right? And I, I've had some, they say, no, nah, I really, I'm just doing it for the money, to be honest, because I hear it's good. Then I'd be like, sorry, bro. I I'm yeah, not you lost you. already. Yeah, you lost already, bro. I, 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 want, I want to train people with passion. Because that passion is going to convert to money, and that money is going to give them a better life. But if, if they're doing it for the wrong reasons, the business won't ever grow. Yeah, it won't grow. And it won't last. And, and they won't last. It just don't work. It just don't work. You got to have a love. What's up, Big Shift? That's my uh, that's my buddy, Big Shift. Shift hey, how you doing, boss? Hey, everybody on here in the chat, man. Y'all go follow. You guys go shout, uh, follow Big Shift, you know, and you guys make sure y'all uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't not subscribe to the What's up, Big Chip? We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Oh, y'all can't hear me? There we go. There you go. There you go. We got you. You can hear you now. Yeah, um, I, I wanted to add to what uh, Serranos was uh, talking about um, with the passion. Uh, um, also, with the passion... Um, you can you can tell when a person is passionate um, when it comes to mobile detailing. Just watching 
their techniques. Watching how much they really attentive to details to certain things in a vehicle because everybody can see that, oh, I need to put the greaser on a tire or I need to pressure wash the rims or pressure wash uh, the body of the vehicle. But when you go into details and you really focus and keyed in on certain as areas of the vehicle, um, it, it takes you to that different level of passion when it comes to mobile detailing. Yeah, it most definitely do because I was basically a do-it-yourselfer do type guy because you know, I, you know, I, had, I had a couple cars all day, you know, a couple cutlets and Mustangs, and, you know, you think you're fresh and fly and, you know, I want to keep clean. And I always, I always clean my cars myself, you know what I'm saying? And that's how I started. I used to do it so much to where one of my buddies – Worked at the BMW dealer. He came by one day and said, Yo, bro, you, you want a job? I was like, Doing what? He's like, working at the dealer with me, but doing detail, you know, cars. I think I want to charge that up because I already knew the passion I had for cleaning vehicles. It was already in me. I already had discovered it. When he came to me, I was like, I was like, yeah, I'm interested. Mm -hmm. So, and it's been history ever since. You know what I'm saying? I, I've I've been doing it. You know, I've been doing it ever since. But you know, like I said about what 2016, 17, I really was like, you know what? This is what I'm. Gonna do. This is what I'm going to do. And you know, I stuck to my guns. You know, uh, I got off my, my my tail and I got to it. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you know, I ain't had nothing but shot back. Saying and you know our supply guy Big Rich, he threw me out a care package. And then when he came back around, I said, "Hey Rich, we pay you for what you gave." Me. He said, "No, nah, brother, that's on me." He said, "Cause I I stick in you, and and he's showing me already. You ain't stopped since I gave you that stuff." And I said, "You know what, brother? I appreciate you, and we've been rocking every since. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I didn't have no van. I didn't even have a vehicle to do this detail." Already. My brother came to me. He was like, "Hey, bro, I got a truck. I want to give to you." I didn't know what the truck looked. I didn't even care. I just said, "Bring it to me, bro." So when he brought it to me, I seen what it was. I said, "You know what, bro? I'm gonna do something with this truck because you gave it to me. I'm gonna make something happen." And that's what I did. You know what I mean? Like I said, I didn't have no money to go buy a water tank. I made my own water tank. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> that's, but that's, that's it what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Right, you know it, it worked, you know, and I'm still and I'm still rocking them right now. They loaded up in the, in the truck right now, so hey, you know, that, like that. <laughs> hey, that water tank uh, uh, that you did, man. I I, I could I I'll give you credit for that, man. You 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 was on you was on Instagram, YouTube every day, uh, posting videos of of how to get it sit. I was I was I be literally sitting here. Just figuring out, like, man, I wonder what he gonna do today. He one day he come in with the spigot, one day he come in to put the water in the tank. It, it, it messed up. It's like he never gave up. And then uh, it, it all came together one day, and I was like, man, this this dude really put together his own water tank and then put it in his van and used it. And I was like, that's the, that's, that's the only way. Post, that's when you, when you post that video of you. Of your final words, man. I was like, man, I gotta meet this dude. Right, right, <laughs> I gotta right. Meet this dude. He he took actually nothing and made it to something, and that's what a lot of detailers uh, that are out there. That's what they're afraid to do is how do they jump in? Do they jump in with four K, five K, three K? They don't know when to jump in and start it. Um, uh, to be honest, there is no dollar sign to actually start this mobile detailing business. As long as you have the passion and you have the drive and you know how to network, that's your starting you're point grow. right there. Yeah, you're going to grow. You're going to grow. I, you know, I don't care if you just got a wash, but you're going to grow. If you have the passion and the love for this, you're going to grow because, you know, you may say, okay. I might be able to make 60 bucks today. 
I only got this 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 bucket, but I might be able to make sixty bucks. But I'm gonna take this sixty bucks. I'm over at the Home Depot. I'm gonna give me a shot. Back. You gotta start building somewhere. You gotta start building somewhere. Okay. So now you can gotta, make your I, whole I, setup. You can make your whole setup off marketplace nowadays. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, offer up all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm -hmm. So I just, you know, I just took it step by step. You know, a couple things I already had, but you know, I just took it step and, by step. And to add a little bit to, we we're talking about passion, right? And and what makes sales, right? And there there's something that I think that has helped me in my business. And you know, I've been doing this for for a long time. Um, but if there's one thing, you know, whoever's watching on here, there's one thing I can recommend is is we talk a lot about passion, right? You have to love what you do. And how I have been able to sell a lot of my packages, right, is by showing the customer my passion, right? right. It's, right. It, it, and it's my facial expressions, right? It's, it's looking excited, right, to, to do their car. And literally, customers are like, man, you know, there's something about you that really made you different from everybody. Yeah, you're the most expensive detailer that I've reached out to, but I can kind of understand why you're expensive, right? And and they're like, man, you know what? I, I want you to detail my car, right? Because it's all in in the passion that you, you're like excited, right? No matter how bad the car can be, I'm excited, right? I'm, you know, it's like I love doing this, right? It's it's truly what I love, right? I breathe detailing, <clears throat> and that's all I do, right? So for those watching, you know, showcase your passion to the customers because that passion will transpire to one booking two. That customer will be so excited. They're like, dude, I talked to this detailer and like, you know, he, he really sounded like one, he knows his stuff, right? Um, because a lot of these detailers, they, they, you know, they just started, but they're very scared to talk to the customer. You know, they'll just be like, um, well, you know, my cost is 140 when you want to book, right? No, it right. don't work like that. You have to, you have to warm up the customer. You have to bring them, um, from, from that like red zone to like to that green zone where it's, it's peace right and right. once once you bring that customer down to where you want them man it's a wrap you can yeah. literally sell whatever you want to that customer because that customer can fully trust you on your knowledge that you're providing to them whether it's through the phone through in person or through text or through an email right so with, like when i do a lot of my my conversations it's all through text or email but when i'm writing it <coughs> it's literally me explaining the excitement of everything i'm going to be doing right i'm old school so i don't i don't believe in these these apps that are going to send a customer an email or a reminder or book it through this app i don't believe in that like literally me i'm, I'm this old school this is what i carry with me all day every day i know everything <laughs> is right here yeah right i'll write it there and then i come home and then, obviously, I put everything on, you know, it's already on my laptop because I put it on those planners, on my phone, and on my laptop, right? Um, and I send my reminders. And every time I send a reminder, it's all done by me. I'm the one typing everything like, hey, like, good evening. Hey, just doing a quick follow-up for tomorrow, making sure that, you know, we're going to – everything is still up, you know, <clears throat> for the booking, right? And the customer is like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want an automated service. To send that email i want the customer to know that it's fully me writing everything right some people are for it some people are against it they're like no I'll make your job easier get the app Nah, i'm good even my notes right. you know right. i write everything i write notes to the customers every day right write it to them when i finish it just says thank you and then i'll put a like a business card right here and then in the cards usually what i tend to do is after i uh i do their card then is when I write the note. And I'll write something that I found interesting of the vehicle. Um, and in the, in, the, in the card, I'll say, you know what? Here is $50 off a hand wag, right? After I washed it, I'm like, mm, I think I, I want to recommend a hand wag. I'm not selling, you know, but on the card, I'll put in here, save this card, present it next time you get $50 off a hand wag, right? I didn't sell nothing, right? Or if I feel like mm, maybe they need a coating, Hey, to save this card, here's two hundred dollars off your next coding. Right? And that's how I get a lot of the repeat business because because of just writing something, right? It's not that's automated. Good. That's 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 clever. I think that's clever. 
You know, so for yeah. one, that's for, for one. That's point customer that you care about their vehicle. You know, and it's every you car. Because I'm, if I'm a customer, you know, I'm like he bring me that car, and I open the car up and I read it. Hey, you know, two hundred bucks off your if you decide you want to do a coating, or fifty bucks off if you decide you want to get a hand wax. That's gonna let me know he knows something about my vehicle that needs to have mm -hmm. some. And it's things like just little little things like that is what's truly gonna be. It's truly what different like makes you different from your competitors, right? Right. And and if you do whatever you do is write a note. Hey, you know what? Thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity. You know, and even if you don't got no cards, I started with notebook paper. I write it down real quick, and then I put it in there, like, by the shifter, and they'll read it, you know. I'll still put the same thing, you know, hey, $50 off your next, you know, hand wax. <laughs> and then they'll ask me, hey, how much is a hand wax? Oh, what's well, 300 but, you know, with that, you get it for 250 And they'll be like, oh, you know, well, you know what, book me already. Go ahead. So I'll keep I'll keep that card. I'll be like, all right, cool. You know, we'll go ahead and redeem your, your thing, and that's it. All right. right. Um, like right now I'm getting some new ones made where it's pretty much the same thing, but on the back, I have some that will say, uh, $50 off a hand wax. And then the other ones will say, uh, $500 off your ceramic coating, right? right? Whenever they give it to me, I take my card back and we just keep passing this card around and it'll come right back to me, <laughs> you know? <Yeah>. So... <laughs> Many ways on how you can sell yourself, right? Right, um, right? Many people believe in selling. I don't believe in selling. I, I believe in um, building curiosity. I sell by creating curiosity, and I preach that daily. I don't sell. I literally will just post my car. I'll post a car on Facebook. Today we did a nice, you know, a lot. I'm booking a lot of what we call the sauce package for Serrano sauce. Um, and it's pretty much like a, a vacuum, windows, wash, wheels, and tires, right? And I'll just post the car on my Facebook page. No marketing, nothing, just on my Facebook page, right? <clears throat> and boom, that'll catch the attention. Hey, how much is that? You know, you know. hey, inbox me. And then from then and there, you just, you just start creating curiosity every day. And trust me, people are going to start just catching on. Oh, this is the details. All right, cool. And then boom, your inbox is going to start flowing. And that's how I started for six years. No marketing. I have paid zero ads. Literally just using my Facebook page. That's it. Man, you are the third person today. You are the third person today. The I don't believe third. in paying any money. I don't believe in paying marketing. I don't want to pay nobody for ads. I'm the ad. And if right. and I, I think if you've been following me for a long time, I am always in my uniform. Literally, yep. right now, the kids were like, "Dude, you're at home. Take your stuff off." I'm like, "Nope. I, I, I'm. I'm. I just. This is me every day." <laughs> right, they're like, Dad, take your stick, take your stuff off. You're at home. I'm like, no, I, I, I I'm always on the camera, you know. So I want to make sure that I always represent my my business, right? Whether I'm home, you never know. A neighbor can come, knock on the door, and boom, real quick. Oh, they they always stare. You have right. something on you, they're gonna stare. Like oh, you have your. Yeah, they gonna look. I just saw you got the 49ers hat, man. God, y'all killed us. <laughs> Boy, that was <laughs> embarrassment. I, uh, you know, you I know, you know, Carlos from Dallas. He's from Dallas. Carlos from Dallas. So, so. I, I got a quick question to ask you guys. Um, besides, besides having the passion for uh, Bobo detailing, um, uh, share something that um, you guys think or feel that that's important to have besides passion. Um, uh, passion uh, when it comes to mobile detailing because a lot of people uh, they have the passion they have the energy um, um, uh, they know how to network but the grind the, yeah, it, it, falls, because, I mean, it falls down I mean, to the you, grind if you guys think about it, it I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm not alone on this one it's been times where you just you just didn't have that push today or you know, you just had an off day, you know, certain stuff break down, uh, machinery didn't count, you know, bottles, spray bottle nozzles breaking, you know, when you constantly going through that battle 
um, behind the scenes, they kind of discourage you, especially when you have a long day. Okay, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I'm, I'm going to put it plain and simple. Faith. That's it, man. And, and, and I'll tell you why. When I started my, my business, I quit my job. No money saved. And I just jumped into this business, right? A couple months later, I couldn't pay my bills anymore. I got evicted. Three months. I, I slept in my truck for three months. Worked, slept in my truck for three months. I didn't have a place to go. I didn't want to bother my parents because they were going to put it all on me. Like, we told you not to start this. You know, we told you that. So, right. only thing right. I, had was, uh, right. I had a membership to LA 24-Hour uh, Fitness. And after, day, after a long day of work, I go there, shower, brush my teeth, go lay down in my truck in the back of the seat for three months. I should have given up a long time ago, but brother, bless you, you bro. You're talking about faith for me. For me, it will always be faith, and I've said it many times in many videos. I walk by faith, not by sight. Hey, right? Many detailers, they're not walking by. They're, they're walking by by sight, hope hoping that they're gonna make that money, that money that everybody they're seeing. That right? I literally grab to the moment, right? And to me. It's always going to be about faith, right? And many of these detailers aren't ready for this, right? Their bottle breaks. Oh, my God, what am I going to do? You know, now they're stressing. Their pressure their pressure washer breaks. Oh, my Fire. God. Like, Fire. what am I going to do? Right? <laughs> but here's the thing. I feel like many detailers now don't know how to fix the problem like this. Right? Man, I get some call me and be like, bro, my pressure washer broke. Are you mobile? Yeah. Does the customer have a water hose? Oh, yeah, he does. Grab that water hose, bro. Turn it on. Wash the car. Right? It's just things that they can fix in that moment to kind of, okay, you know what? They bring, they, they calm down, and they're like, dude, I could have freaking used a water hose, right? Um, <clears throat> but I, I think for me in my business, I say faith is one of these, uh, other than passion, it's faith for me, for me. Everybody's different, of course, you know, but for me, it literally has been faith that my first tattoo, it, it says, faith it till you make it, you know, <laughs> literally. <laughs> and it, that thing hurt. And that was, they're the only tattoo I'm probably getting in my life, you know. <clears throat> so for me, it's faith. I don't know about, about boss man up here. What about, yeah, what that's, about that's, 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 <laughs> yeah, you know what, bro? You know, he just really opened my eyes up and, and, and really opened my brain up because I feel like I work through faith myself. I really do. You know what I'm saying? Not just because he just spoke on that, but it did open my eyes up to be like, damn, bro, I kind of work like that too now that you that you mentioned that. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't wake up every day, man, I hope I get a call. I hope somebody calls me. That's work today. It just happens. You know, I, I get in my truck, I go fire up. You know, I got I got a, a, a little spot out here. I, I, I post that every Saturday. So people know I'm there. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I can pull up there. I'm, it's guaranteed. You'll have a sale. Just, just, just what uh, Serrano said, um, uh, working is just pretty much having that that attitude like you want to service them before them even approach you that's important man uh i, I think you should have talked a little bit more about that because that's important for detailers to hear you know just because you having a bad day or you not feeling well and stuff you know th the customer is going to pick up on that and they, they real they quick know, they, they'll they, know before you even try to sell them anything or before you even try to mention anything about detailing, they already checking your vibe out. They looking at your setup. They what? They watch it. You they just you just your, nailed uh, it. Your your vibe right yeah, there. They're looking at your attire. If you coordinated, you know they watching you from they, a lot of clients that you get. They already see what you can do before you even work. They just want to see how knowledgeable you are. If you honest, if you're not going to uh, upscale them on stuff. You know, they watching you. So a lot of times it's just, you know, just being professional at all times. And that's important, appearance. Man. Appearance is key in yeah. this business. But yeah. not a lot of people understand that, unfortunately, that, you know, 
<clears throat> like you say, they're watching you, right? Maybe they haven't booked with me yet, but I know that a lot of these customers that book me are following me, whether it's on YouTube or on Facebook or on, on Instagram. They're always watching, right? And I tell a lot of people, who you see through this camera is who I am in person, That's right? right. And whenever right. I approach the customers, they're like, man, I, they're like, dude, you're like exactly on like on camera. That's that's how it should be, right? And, and it's and crazy, though, because, <laughs> not to cut you off, it's crazy, though, because that's what attracted me to your channel was your personality and how you explain things. You're not intimidating to other detailers. You know, I felt comfortable watching your segment and what you had to say, you know, uh, Sometimes I can say, well, can I really say that? I'll be watching like a uh, Wilson Auto de de Detail. You know, well, he, he's he's cool, he's cool, but sometimes he can be intimidating. You know, and why I say that because you don't have to have certain equipment to get the job done. That will come with your growth. If you have the passion and the love, you're going to get the job done the best way you can Sure. And that goes back to, and that goes back to the extraction. Like I was watching your segment with uh, what you got, Aqualink. Uh, yeah, Aqualux. Aqualux with the, uh, with you guys were comparing the mighty. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, with the Aqua Pro. With the Aqua Pro, and you know, I was like, man, you know, this is uh, some good content, you know. And I was like. You know, everybody don't have twelve, thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars to go buy a mic. Like when I first started detailing for the BMW dealer, there wasn't no hot water extractor. We was doing by hand. Oh, cold water. Cold water. You by hand. Brush <laughs> brush hey, I'm, I'm old school, bro. I be with them freaking brushes all day. All it day. I think it literally took my business. Probably about three years before I finally gave into a drill brush. I was like, nah, bro, I'm good with my muscles. And then right, finally, right. I was like, you know what? Let me try a damn drill brush and a drill. Right, right. And then I, I go to Home Depot, and I was like, $150 for this drill brush? I was like, <laughs> nah, I'm going to wait. I keep going. And then finally, I was like, all right, yeah, let, let, me, let me buy this drill brush and see if it really makes a difference. And boy, ever since I tried that, then the next thing I bought was a steamer, and everybody was like, bro, you need a steamer, and I was like, nah, I'm good, bro, I got my Vortex Air tool, you know, I'm good. And hey, I, watched, I, like, I, I, I watched you, I watched you use your, I I said, you know, when I've seen this, I had to try it. <laughs> I watched you use your steamer, and come back up with the, with the I don't know, was it a pistol, was it, I don't know what it was, but you came back with it, with the extractor, and you, I said, I said, man, you got to improvise. Sometimes you just got to sit there and think. And Bro, and I just saw, I saw this guy, uh, literally, I think, uh, Martin Witherspoon, I think his YouTube channel is called Bell Lavor or something like that. And my mind literally right now just kind of like opened up to people that have like a <coughs> the Mighty with no heater. Literally, my mind just blew right now where, and and, and they have that. He was showcasing this uh, water heater, that tube. That you yeah. Throw bro. The bucket, the bucket heater. Bro, we, we just if you, we just got to talking about that. If if you don't yeah. have if you don't have a heated extractor, you fill your mighty your mighty extractor and you throw that bucket heater in there, and guess what? Now you got a now you got a heated <laughs> extractor, <laughs> bro. <laughs> like we just, my mind my mind right now is like, bro. This is we just were talking about that earlier because I was telling I was telling Shift I said you know what I said I, I want to get a mighty which I'm going to get later on I say but I was almost <laughs> putting bought the Aqua Pro Vac because I seen you guys video mm -hmm. I almost went and bought that and I'll I said you know what mighty. yeah I said you know what I'm gonna hold off on the Aqua Pro Vac what I'm, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to make me an extractor hose with the Mighty Wand. I'm going to use my shop vac. Yeah. Until then. And, brother, shop vac works perfect. It works perfect. You can it put your steamer, 
uh, you put your steamer uh, right behind your web mat, your 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 gun, and as you're steaming your upholstery, right, you're, right, that's and that's you what know? I and I I seen you do that, and that's what I was like, wow. But and like I was just telling Chip a little while ago, I had an idea of taking a five gallon bucket, putting a bulkhead figure on it with a spigot. Okay. Drop that heat. Drop that heat. That that that, that, mm. that heater. That bucket. Let me hot, hook up. Hot, heat up. I can hook the little the little tube holes to it, and it's gonna gravity feed itself. Yep. Out that bucket, it's gonna grab, and it's hot water. You got hot water right there. Or or you can use a um a um a well a well pump. I like I use a sub, I have a submersible pump. Right. Right. You can throw that into that bucket. You hook your your let's say a ten foot uh, water hose, right? Uh, and that'll give you <laughs> quick like quick flow. And you can connect right. that. You can connect. Find a way to connect that into your uh, extractor head, and that thing will just keep spraying water, and you just extract, right? Um, there's there's many ways. You know, it's just the the mind has to give you, you know, like oh you know what, I can use this for detailing. Shoot, I at one point used my wife's rubber spatula for pet hair removal. Wow. You know? It's literally wow. rubber. It's rubber. Yeah. And and bro, that's spa that spatula worked good. I still got it right here, look. <laughs> Just that spatula worked good. <laughs> hey, hey, he was so good. Everybody in this chat, man, y'all go subscribe to my YouTube channel. Watch where I Wow. The old school one. You know, and th th all you got to do is you start rubbing this. It starts creating that heat. And, boy, this right here is, is, is a pet hair removal tool. You just <laughs> you try. If, if you have a rubber spatula, next time you got pet hair, you use a rubber spatula on that pet hair. You're going to see how amazing it works. Wow. For $2, $2 right here. Bam. That's a wrap. I'm going to try that, too. <laughs> Definitely going to try that. I seen them you know, at the ninety nine cent store. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's it's things like that. That it's like while I'm here at work, or while I'm here at home, I'm like, I was like, man, I was like, I ain't got no pet hair removal tool for today. I had lost it, so I came into my house and I was like, man, I'm gonna use this. The next day, my wife was like, yo, where, where's that spatula? I said, oh shit, let me go get it from the, from my bag, <laughs> right? <laughs> another another thing is is if, if you're working with like um perforated holes like those heated seats you can use yeah. one of your wife's uh use one of your wife's um i'm sure your wife has these i got a bunch of these yeah i think it's, it's what they use for their <laughs> eyelashes you, yeah. you stick this is good for perforated holes this is good for um your speakers that have them holes you can yeah. uh, you spray your product in there and you stick this in there twist it boom yeah, it might take you a little bit longer, but guess what? You charge accordingly, shoot, I could be there picking holes all day, right? That's why my cost is higher probably than any detailer because of the passion to how in debt I take my work into that vehicle, right? It's not just, oh, scrubbing this. It's truly, you know, like getting in your leather seat really good, right? Removing all that gripe, not just half of the stuff that's in there. I literally grab that leather seat and I spread it open, steam it real good, brush it, blow it off, and bro, you have like a beautiful leather, right? It's things like that <laughs> that will truly. Some customers will value that. Some customers, some customers, I mean, they don't care. They're just wanting the cheapest person, right? But when you fully explain to the customer like what you're gonna do, why it takes so long, and then the cost becomes irrelevant. They're like, damn to uh, go ahead and come bro like let's book it right so part of your passion is is going a little bit above and beyond with with, with the car that you're doing right <laughs> that's why i always say that uh you know, cheap, cheap detailers ain't good, and good cheap detailers, you know you, you you get what i'm saying yeah good detailers ain't cheap and cheap detailers ain't good so, and, and don't get me wrong i've met some 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 i i hate saying I've met cheap detailers, but I've I've met some detailers that are cost friendly, and their work is killer, bro. I'm like, why are you charging so low? Hey, oh, that's crazy. Like, you said that because man, I they just they ain't gonna pay me. Like they they ain't gonna pay me. You know, they they don't they don't want to pay any higher. I'm like, 
Is that because you're you're scared to to tell the customer, oh, you know what, this is this is a two hundred dollar detail. You know, instead of charging a hundred, oh, it's two hundred. People, detailers are scared to tell the customer the true price of their value, right? Because the customer might say, oh, you know what, oh, I don't, you know, at two hundred, I, I can't do it. And then guess what? The detail the detail is gonna say, well, what, what can you do? Of course, the customer's going to say, oh, I, I was trying to spend 80, you know, and then the, the, the detailer will be like, well, if I do it for 100, can you, do? of course, the customer's going to say, yeah, 100 bucks, yeah, for a tore up interior, right? And, 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 and like, I think like in a lot of the classes I teach is don't be scared. Don't be scared to tell the customer the truth. The truth hurts. Sorry, man. The price yeah, is you gotta know your worth. You, you dirty, you nasty, the car's bad. That's right. why I'm charging you this amount of money because there's a lot of work that goes into this. I'm just not, I'm not just your average detailer that's just gonna come here and take your money, right? My right. package is based off my quality, customer service, and making sure I get the job done right the first time, <clears throat> right? And then the customer starts like, you know what? You're right, because last time I had somebody come and do my detail, it was wet, then it smelled, that's right. Because you went cheap. Cheaper ain't always good. Pay the higher price and get done with it, right? There's customers that will, it's crazy, where a customer was like, yeah, this guy was charging me 200 and he, he literally told me, I felt the price was too low, you know? And here I go, I hit him for his interior at 500 and he was like, your price seemed much better for me. I was like, what? Some customers rather pay higher premiums because in their mind, if the price is higher, this dude's legit. Right. If the price is low, oh, something's up. You know, even if the detailer is legit, these customers will probably say like, mm, no, but it all, it all falls down truly to that conversation that you have with that customer, whether it's over the phone, when you answer that phone and you sound like you lost – Customer gonna be like, all right, next, next, another phone call. By the time they come to us, they're usually we're usually maybe like the fourth, the fifth person they've talked to, right? And we're truly the last person because they're already tired of calling different places, right? And they come to us usually, and we're their last resort, right? They're like, mm, let me try this guy, you know? And then they talk to you, and you're talking to them, and the customer starts like, damn, you know what, this dude. He knows his stuff because from the giggle, he started talking to me professionally. He didn't rush it. He was asking questions of what I needed, blah, blah, blah. And then the customer is like, yeah, this guy is more knowledgeable. And that's how I've literally closed a lot of deals. Is By the time they come to me, I already know. I tell them, look, I'm sure you already shopped a lot of prices, you know. <clears throat> and I tell them right off the bat, my pricing is premium. So don't be alarmed, but just know that. I have a lot of work to back my stuff up. I have a lot of reviews to back my work up. You know, I may not be the best choice for you today, but just know that in the future, maybe I can be of service to you. And then it just, it kind of brings them like from here to like, okay, you know, he said he's high, but he's, I'm bringing them down. And then I'm like, all right, well, what kind of car do you have? Right. And they start talking to me. You have leather. Yeah. When's the last time you detailed it? And they're like, oh, um, like three years ago. All right, cool. Well, hey, no worries. I can definitely take care of it. You know, we have pets. Yeah, okay, cool. And then the thing is that that's how you're adding value to your price, right? You're asking questions. They're saying yes. So that's check on their side. Then you ask another question. That's another money added to their to their yeses, right? So, so when you hit them with the price, the price isn't based off your work. The price is based off their yeses, right? And then you hit them with the price. And I always say, based off the information you gave me, this is the price, right? The information they gave you, not information I get, is them, right. Right? right? You get them to say yes, in the mind, it starts working like, Man, okay, you know, yes it is, yes, it, all right, now I understand why, you know? And I always tell them, my price starts at 300, based off condition and, and questions I ask you, price is subject to change, Right? And then once they start saying yes to all of this, guess what? That 300 just went to 350, oh, 375, 400. Now we are 
five hundred for this interior. Now I got to figure out how to sell my packages to these customers, right? I put all of that together, I give it to them, and then literally they're like, "Oh, okay." Now I understand why the cost is high. You know, yeah, because I called this guy and this person said it was, you know, one fifty. <coughs> why? Why was it one fifty? Well, I don't know. They just said it's one fifty. So you didn't ask questions. No. So now they're like, well, shoot, why is it so high, right? But the decision maker is truly us at the end because we're explaining it to them as to these other detailers. Are they just saying, oh, you got an SUV, uh, 150, and that's it. And then they leave, right? And now you're, the customer's like, well, shoot, 150. All right, well, let me try this other guy, right? This other guy tells them 200. Okay, so 150, 200, okay. But this other person still doesn't explain to them what they're going to do, right? Or, or a lot. Here's the next one that they do is everybody has websites now or whatever. Customer contacts them, boom, they send them their website. Here's our here's our website, <laughs> right? And the customer's like, uh, okay, <laughs> you know. Right. So the customer gets the website, and bro, they got like ten packages, and the customer is like, yeah, I'm like, ah, oh, shoot, customer's like, ah, uh. and then guess what? They're gonna contact you again. Um, yeah, why well, one in detail? Okay, ma'am, you didn't see our packages that we have on there. The customer at that point, the customer's already frustrated. Like, all right, cool. You know what? Next. And then here comes right. us, right? right? Like with me, I'm only going to give you three options. That's it. I don't even have a menu. I write it. I write everything. But what you want to do is, and a lot of detailers don't do this, is you want to get to know your customer and what they truly want, right? When they inbox you, um, let's say that they want an in interior detail, right? I'm not going to send them a menu with, I don't, I, don't, I don't tell them, you know, oh, okay, well, look, here's my packages. That's it. No. With me, you contact me, I'll ask you, what service are you needing? And they'll say, oh, well, you know, I'm needing my interior detail. Okay, great. Guess what? My coatings, corrections just went out the window. And I'm only going to uh, focus on the detail, the interior that you told me about, right? And now we're like, okay, good. And then I ask them the questions. We go through everything. All right, look, well, look, here's the package that I offer is this. This is everything I'm going to do to it, right? Let me know what you think. And usually the customer books, hey, you know what? Let me just go ahead and book for next week. Okay, great, right? Um, but focus, and I tell you to a lot of detailers, is focus on what the customer really needs. Don't, oh, we got this interior detail, and then we got the wax. Customer's like, oh, no, I don't care about the wax. I care about this. Is, this is what I came here for, right? And then these detailers are giving them the whole menu, like customers like, hey, can, Jesus can I Christ. add to that, Serenos? Yeah. Let, add, add to what you just said, man. What you just said, it, it, I I came to the menu because of what you just said right now. Focus on what the customer needs. When you focus on what the customer needs, bridge that gap. Uh, Real quick, you, you, you just you, all right. You cool. Are you covering your microphone? I can't hear you, bro. You covering your mic? You covering your mic up? All I heard was McDonald's menu. Can you hear me now? Nah, yeah, you, 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 you was covering your mic. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, so I, I, I create an a interior package and an exterior package. I don't do them together. I do them separately. I, and, and what I do is I ask the client, what are they more focused and concerned on, the interior or exterior? And then um, if they say interior, I, you know, I'll send them pictures of clients' cars that I've done with the service that meets their needs, the before and after. So that way they see my craft at hand. And if it's a client that um, uh, approaches me um, in person, I actually let them look at the vehicle that I'm doing. If they want to know what a clay bar is, you know, I let them, you know, feel the vehicle that I'm uh, that I'm doing, you know, because a, a lot of the clients that I have, they they real close to me, um, and we have a real personal relationship to where, you know, I know that they'll let me. Uh, use their car as um advertisement it just pretty much it just showing them um 
the skill set that I have and what the service they need. And 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 eventually, I, I hope you get your business to where. I, I think I've always tried to focus on my business. Like, uh, let's per se, you got a Ferrari, and you got a let's say Toyota, right? Toyota, how many advertisements a day do you see on Toyota? Woo, they is TV, <laughs> right? How many advertisements do you see on Ferrari? None. None, right? Eventually, you will get your business. Like the way I see my business is, is just like that. Is um, I, I want to be that Ferrari, right? Customer, I don't have I don't have to show you my work. You already saw my work, right? I've already you've I've already been referred to this customer, or customer has already seen my work. That I don't need to force the sale. Like okay, look here's all my check out all my work, right? No, let 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 your let your passion do the work. Let let your knowledge transpire through that phone call, through that text message, to where you don't have to try to sell, you know, send pictures of, hey, look, this is my work. You know, try to switch that up. Instead of sending pictures to them, just say, well, hey, great, look, these are the packages I offer based on what you're needing. You know, check it out. If you have any questions, hey, feel free to, feel free to ask me, right? That way, you're not sending them all these pictures. Customers trying to read it. Bing, 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 bing. They're like, oh, shoot. Right, give the customer time. Right, don't just force it all on them. Right, because when you start forcing it on them, they're like, "Oh no," they're like, they're too pressured. Now they're like, mm, you know." So try that next time that you get a customer that inboxes you. Right, <clears throat> go through the steps. Like with me, I think if a customer inboxes me, the automated thing says, uh, "God bless you. Thank you for choosing Serrano Mobile. Give me a couple minutes while I respond." Right, and that's automated. So then here I come, and I'm like, hey, how are you? You know, thank you for choosing us. What can I assist you with today? I specialize only in interior detailing and ceramic coatings. What can I help you with, right? And then, boom, the customer's like, oh, I'm needing an interior detail. Okay, great. Um, what kind of car do you have? What year is it? You know, you go through your questions, and they start answering, right? And then I say, okay, great. Based off what you just given me, the price starts at this, right? <clears throat> but to further assist you or help you, can you please send me a couple pictures of your interior, right? You want the customer to work for you. You want to take control of that customer. If the customer starts doing everything you say, boy, it's a you got it in the bag, right? Some customers don't do that, and they're just like, what's the price? Well, the price, is, it could be 500 for all I care, right? right? But I always tell the customers, it starts at here. But send me some pictures. Based off of those pictures, I'll gladly give you a firm price with no hidden fees. <clears throat> By using the word no hidden fees guarantees you probably a more closer sell because you're going to be honest from the get-go, right? As to many detailers, you'll say, oh, I'll do it for 200 and you show up. And then guess what? This interior is trashed. And guess what? <laughs> now you got to tell the customer, Hey, you know what? Um, I know I told you two hundred, but it's gonna be three fifty. That customer Man. is gonna be like, "Yo, like, um, but you said two hundred, right?" <laughs> so, I always tell my customers, "No hidden fees." That way, I'm very transparent, and I tell my customers, "If you know, <clears throat> the only way I will change my pricing is if those pictures they send me aren't accurate to what I see that day." Then. I tell them, you know, if your pictures aren't accurate from this picture, yeah, price does change a little bit, but just have at least $100 extra, right? So that's the way I do it. Say no hidden fees and guarantee you're going to have more sales because you're being more honest with that customer. That's good now. And I didn't learn, I didn't learn a few times just sitting here conversating with you guys because uh, – I do something, that, you know, with my customers. Uh, two hundred, two fifty, and I know I shouldn't do that. I, 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 and I already know I shouldn't do that. But just you know, sitting here conversating with you guys, man, I, I learned something. I won't be doing that in the future. <laughs> yeah, and and I got to tell everybody, try it. You know, like like there there's things I say that may not work for you, right? But there's things that it's like you implement them. And then it's like, okay, you start seeing the pattern, right? 
like a lot of the detailers I train, I'm like, bro, hit them at this price. Oh, nah, dude, they ain't go, they don't want it. I'll even tell you what I've done. I the the people I train, <coughs> they're scared to give the price. I'm like, hey, look, <coughs> I'll type everything. I type it. All right, send them this. They're like, bro, that's a lot of money. I go, you ain't got faith or what? I got this, bro. I send that I send that message to them. They copy and paste and send it to that customer. Customer books, no questions asked. I was like, what price were you at? Oh, 150. Oh, now we had, I mean, just made you 300 bucks from your 150. Right? What happens is, is, is the wording. Yeah. A, 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 not to say a rookie detailer, but a, a, a detailer that just started is wording differently than somebody that has the knowledge. Right? right. You're, you're able, to, uh, a person with, I'm not going to say I'm an expert and, and I'm a detailer. But my knowledge I've acquired over the years, I've been able to change the wording on how to transpire to that customer. And it's crazy how my wording can get any bookings for these guys because of the wording, right? And then I tell them, Just change your wording, right? That's it. Change your wording. And that wording to the customers are like, oh, dang. You know, I stopped using hand wax a long time ago. My word I use is pain enhancement. Yeah. And they're like, oh, paint enhancements. Yeah, I need that. What is that? Oh, it's a hand wax. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Let, let me get that. Right? But paint enhancement sounds more, ooh, sounds you know? Good. Right? That's, that's so I, 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 a lot of these guys, I cross out the word waxing. I'm like, take away hand waxing. Name it paint enhancement. You know, and those things definitely get you more bookings because of just changing the word. Right, and and bringing your price list from a McDonald's menu to literally, for me, three is a lucky number that's gonna get you at least a sale. Right, three. That way, the customer real quick sees your three packages. Okay, you know what? Um, let me get your hand wax. You know, boom, real quick. <clears throat> so I always try to advertise three things that you sell the most. You know, as for me, it would be <laughs> interiors, um, the hand wax and uh ceramic coatings those are three things i usually get a lot of um the book the, the that's a lot of things i sell right so that's all i send you is, is those three things and from those three things it takes away the headache and you literally can choose something within two minutes right so but yeah man just little things that we can <clears throat> we can all try and eventually one something will work right and it's, right. it's just trying it and just Keep adding, you know, keep trying. Don't just give up. A lot of these guys give up. They're like, oh, that didn't work. I'm done. I'm not trying that, you know. <laughs> but try it at least for a good month. And if that don't work, okay, we'll find a different route. Okay, let's see what works for you now, right? And it's just trying different things, even when doing interiors. You know, some people are like, man, it takes me too long to do these interiors, right? <clears throat> they come to the class. They kind of see me working. And then they're like, oh, shoot. So that's how you're able to get a detail done in two hours, right? It's just different processes that we all use. But the thing is that they see a lot of, like, the YouTubers, and they're like, oh, I want, you know, I need that. I need that. It's like, no, what you have right here, you can do it, oh. you know? <clears throat> but, but yeah, man, this was fun. Yeah, it was, man. I, I, I enjoyed this, man. I enjoyed this, man. I, I really have. I've been trying to. I've been trying to do something like this for a long time, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, just be able to, you know, connect with some some other guys. Talk yeah, and, and and break down the animosity. A lot of a lot of detailers, man. There's just so much like they the, the hate is just like, nah, I don't want to be in this dude's video just because. Like I don't, you know, I don't know. There's a lot of people out there like that. I don't. Yeah, I, I, I just love, I I love everyone. I love yeah, to meet new exactly, people. Exactly. Exactly. You know, I just, you know, I just don't, man, you know, but uh, always been a fan of yours and, you know, I'm tuned into your channel always, you know. I appreciate uh, that. I appreciate that. You know, I take some of your knowledge and I try to apply to, you know, what I got going on and see what I come up with. Same way I do with Big Shift, you know, I salute you guys, man. And, uh, and that's, all, that's what it's all about. It's tweaking. It's tweaking what you see and you make it better. And you make it better. That's what I tell a lot of people is, it's like, let's just say you come to my training, this, I'm teaching you this, but I want you to be 
better than me, right? right? I want you to go and take what you learned today and tweak it your way, make it different, right? Find a way to make it faster. Find a way that maybe that I didn't know, right? Right. And, and keep at it and grow with it. But a lot of these, is, they just don't want to, they don't want to put that, <coughs> that effort in. You know, everything is just, they, they want it handed to them. They want it handed to them. And like I tell guys, man, you, you want the money because you know it's a lucrative business, but you got to put Very. it in. And I tell I, I this, this business will make you money. I ain't going to lie. This business will make you money. But you have to be ready to put in the work. This, this ain't no pyramid scheme. This ain't no you put $500 and tomorrow you're going to make 5000 It don't right. work like that. You got to wake no. up every day, grind it out, and, and hopefully – Hopefully, you know your business sustains itself for the first three years, and then now, now you're now you're now you're booming. You know you pass the three years. All right, you know you're you're making it, right? But right now, all these new details, man, they'll last maybe a year. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. a lot of them to figure out. A lot of them to figure out. They get tired. Yeah, they get tired, they, man. They I, ain't used to that work, boy. They be like, my back hurts. Yeah, they not, they not, they not used to that heavy grind, man. They just got to do it. So they, man, once they, you know, especially you know, when they, uh, and, and say, like, you know, they're getting off in the they see man, hours to polish this thing out. I had to do a three step, you know what I'm saying? So that probably took me three hours or two hours. Hour fast, you know, you you know, you work your you know, your will, but you gotta put in that work. You gotta put in that work. You gotta put in that people people wanna see you put in work before they even try to refer you people. Right. You know? That's they be right. like, Man, my my friends ain't sharing my stuff. Guess what? Your friends wanna make sure that you put it in the word before they send a customer and the that customer then they send you the customer, and guess what? You go probably gonna tell them, uh, "I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this full time. You know, I'm not doing this no more." So guess what? That customer gonna be like, "Bro, they gonna hit up the friend. You sent me this. It don't even detail no more, right? Right, right." So people wanna see you put in work before they can say, "You know what? This dude has been putting in the work. I highly recommend him because they know that you're in it for the passion. You're in it to win it. You're not in it to just make that quick buck and you're out of there." Right, right, yeah. Yeah, you most know? definitely. And I'll never forget when one of one of, one of my uh one of my customers, <laughs> real real good one of my customers, and I was like, bro, like, and he finally he was like, you know what? It took me this long for me to refer you somebody because I wanted to make sure that you were in it for the long run. You weren't just in it for the quick bucks, right? It took him three and a half years before he even sent me somebody. Wow. You know, but then He's once serious. he referred me, once once he referred me to that customer. His friend gave me that customer, the neighbors, and boom, 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 boom. And I'll never forget talking to that customer. He said, I just needed to see that you put in the work because I wanted to make sure that you, you were you were going to do this for the long run. And he, like, guaranteed sales. He was like, I'm sending you this person, and trust me, from this dude, you're about to have a whole community. Wow. Hey, Ser hey Serenos, what, what you just said right now, man, I just experienced that, dude. <laughs> um, about about uh, uh, the client not uh, wanting to refer somebody because of the work ethic or whatever they want to yeah. experience for themselves. So so I have a I have I have a client I have a client base uh, where I do uh, maintenance services on a uh, uh, community. It's a cul de sac. So uh, in the cul de sac, it's about about ten fifteen houses, right? And I probably got about seven houses in the cul de sac. So, so when I do cul-de-sacs or when I do neighborhoods uh, where I'm doing maintenance washes, I try to find the uh, the shark of the neighborhood, pretty much the the, yeah, guy, the, the the guy that everybody refers to. So once I find mm -hmm. that person, um, I work around him, him or her. So in, in this case, I didn't know who that shark was on that cul-de-sac, and come to find out, this guy has been watching me for like two or three years. Mm -hmm. he, I always see him. He always finds something to do when I'm over over there in the Cota Sack area. Detailing. They just want to see and you then, work. Yeah, but it, and then, uh, th and that's when he approached me. He was like, hey, you know, how much do you 
charge for an RV or whatever. And you know, we talked and we we uh, chatted about numbers and stuff. <clears throat> and then I came out and um uh, did his RV for me. And then that's when he spilled the news to me and was like, you know, you know, I run the um I forgot what he said. Um, he ran the sub in the community to where people. Sorry, the come charter. In. I'm say it again. The charters. Yeah, he 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 runs. He runs something that pretty much everybody uh, comes to him. And, and pretty much a long <laughs> story short was uh -huh. every time it, since I've done his vehicle and he's on a maintenance, like I literally have the whole cul-de-sac now. Wow. So 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 that just pretty much stems off of what Serena was saying is just you 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 don't know who's watching you and everybody and, and, everybody's and, and who's watching paying attention to you. So you know you when you go out there, you pretty much have to have that mindset of, you know, I I, I want to grasp as much knowledge <clears throat> and information as I can. Hey, and you know, that's, that trip, that's a trip that you said that because, you know, I live in a cul-de-sac. And <laughs> I, uh, one, two, three, I got about three of my, my neighbors that I do their cars on a consistent basis. So, we had some new neighbors move in, but they're, uh, they're some young men. They go to the uh, Maritime Academy School, which is not far from me. So one of them is in the, two of them is in the Navy. They are deep sea diver mechanics. They they work on these, uh, they're, they're boat mechanics, but they deep sea dive. And they, you know, Boy, they, they, man, they make a killing. They making a killing. And they're young. And I, I you know, you know, I ride, I ride a Harley Davidson. You know, he got a Harley Davidson, and I know he had been watching me clean these bikes and these cars. And it took him a long time to approach me, but I always said, I said, man, he act like he want to approach me. And it took him a minute, and he finally approached me. He, and, and, and just what you said, Chef, he's, man, I've been watching you. <laughs> I've been watching you, you know, take care of these cars over here with the neighbors and stuff. And, you know, he's like, yeah, you know, I ride a bike and I, I seen you clean a couple of Harleys over in your, in your garage and stuff. And I was like, man, I want, I want to talk. I was like, man, why you just never come over and, you know, say, hey, your neighbor, you know, you know, can yeah. we talk? I but always yeah, try to man, they, they, to relate they to the customers. Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do watch, man. Hey, and, say, and, say that again, Mr. Reynolds. That's important for the viewers to hear. Say it. What did I you say? I, I, I always try to relate to something with the customers, right? Whether I, I, I'll come out of the car and I'll be like, hey, the 49ers, you know, uh, I bring that, 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 that like red flag real quick. It'd be like, oh, shoot. I'd be like, man, y'all killed us, right? And then it's like, now you're laughing. Now you're smiling. And then right. it's like, all right, we know, hey, well, let's go look at your car. Oh, yeah, let's go. Now they're excited, yeah. right? Yeah. But I, I always try to find something, you know, I, 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 don't, I don't say I train myself. But I'm very visual as I'm driving, you know, when I start approaching these houses, you know, I approach this house. Maybe they got a, a, a college flag or something, you know, and then that's kind of how I bring it into like all into play. You know, oh, shoot, you went to, you know, UT or you went to OSU and be like, oh, yeah, my daughter goes there. Oh, that's cool. You know, and then you just kind of build some sort of conversation. Right. right. Um, right. But yeah, people, <laughs> people want to see you put in work, right? Uh, and I don't know if you guys use them. It's like an A-frame sign. Um, uh, I use yeah, I think that I, like got, I got. You know what? I got one. I haven't even. Uh, I got. You know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna go take it down to the guy tomorrow so he can fill it in for. Hey, me. that will make you money like no tomorrow, bro. An A-frame sign. You be in yeah. a community that you've never been in there, and you put that little A-frame that sign right there in front where you're working, bro. People gonna drive, and then they start driving real slow, and then they start doing this. And then they yeah, keep working, yeah. and then they'll yeah. stop, and then from the mirror, they'll take that picture. Bam, they just got your phone number. Guess what? In a couple of weeks, they're going to call you. Hey, you're over here at this community. You know, we saw you working. What's your prices? Bam, you got them. And then it just happens like that, bro. And that, that sign has made me so, <clears throat> so much money, you know, because people literally, and I literally put it in a way where it's like, you're going to run over it, so you got to slow down. Right. You know? Right. So the way I put my sign, is I put it far, but in a in kind of in your way to where you're gonna be going slow, and then you see me working, you see my bright orange hat, 
you know, and you see they they start seeing that, oh, shoot, he's cleaning that car. They'll slow down. Hey, you know, what are you doing? And nothing. Just here's freaking China. Clean this car up. Right? <laughs> but look into, if you don't have that sign, look into that sign, <clears throat> put some of your information in there, and that will start building your sales, dude. It's so crazy. Um, I got a brand new one. I got a brand new one. I just haven't been able to get it down to my logo and all my information. Yeah, man, that, that thing it, it, it sells, and yeah. you know I think we've touched, we've covered all the bases: appearance, the way you approach your customers, you know, and just making sure that you can get, you can get that vibe, right? You know, right. three 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 good ingredients to create the whole package, right? Because you can have the baddest package, but if your persona ain't good, the whole package ain't gonna work. It's out. You know, it's like I tell a lot of people: you over here. You can make your package on paper look so amazing, but your attitude sucks. Right. You ain't going right. to sell. Yeah. You know, you, you show up in sweatpants, flip-flops, and be like, what the heck did I hire? Right, I literally, right. I had a customer. I was cleaning the, the, the customer's house. This other detailer showed up. Obviously, they, 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 the, 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 the uniform, right? It looked, it looked bad, right? And the customer wow. literally came over. It was like, um, cause the detailer was still there work. They were unloading. I felt bad, man. They were unloading. <laughs> then that neighbor came over and he was like, Hey, um, you have any openings after this car? And I was like, um, I'm kind of booked. I was like, but I can, you know, maybe see if we can put you in or something. And he was like, can you clean my car? And I was like, I was like, don't you got some guys over there? He was like, nah, man, I don't, I'm not feeling the the, the, the the uniform. They look thuggish, you know. And they're like, you know what, we don't want that in our neighborhood. So I was like, um, sure, you know. I was like, I was like, if I take you in next, I was like, there's an extra $75 fee on top of what I'm going to charge you because, you know, I got to put you in front of my other customer. And he was like, I'll give you $150 right now if you can take care of it. So I was like, all right, cool. I was like, let me make a quick phone call. <laughs> and then the customer literally told the guys like yo like leave I was like uh shoot you know and the customer was like I wasn't feeling the uniform you know the appearance you know it just it, it's not what our community needs to see I was like oh shoot damn oh, oh okay you know so appearance is key and, and that's not and that's not being prideful on, on on their part, it, I mean that's just business. I mean, and that's just, standards. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's standards. Yeah. it's it's levels. It's like th there's there's levels to this business, right? There's there's like I I tell there there's a customer for every detailer, right? I I always say your appearance, your pricing, will determine the kind of customer you're gonna be getting. Yeah. If if you're cheap, guess what? You're going to get all the cheap customers to come to you, all the dirty cars, right? If you're expensive, guess what? You just weeded out all the cheap people. Now you're going to get people that really care about their cars. <laughs> and usually the cars are very clean. They'll be like, oh, shit, what am I going to clean here, right? Right. <laughs> but they don't mind paying you $200 for a, for a good, in, you know, interior detail. While others, you know, the, the price you have or the way you represent your business is the, the clientele you're going to attract, right? Um, but it's sad. It's sad how the world works, right? It's sad how the the mind works, right? If if you're showcasing, you know, low pricing, you're going to get low customers. But yet many detailers get mad because all they get is cheap customers, Right? And then I'm just like, well, raise your prices. Well, they ain't going to pay. How you know they ain't going to pay? Because you've been just used to selling cheap packages. You, it's time to level up, right? It's time to go to the next level, right? So then I went from $50 to $100, right? And I started weeding out these $50. And then these $100 started coming. And then I was like, all right, you know what? Let me test my waters now. We're at $150, right? Then those $150 started leaving. And I was like, all right, let me go to 200 now, right? Now I got $200 details. And then the ones that <clears throat> didn't want to pay that price, I was scared because I started losing some people. But then 
I started gaining more customers at 200. And then I was like, you know what? Let me test the waters again. And that's where $300 comes into play. Though I was scared I was going to lose almost all the customers, you know, I actually gained more customers. And I was there like, yeah, 300 is good. You know, when, when can we set up? And I was like, oh, shoot, okay. They said yes. All right. <clears throat> all I need is one customer to say yes. That's right? It. And that lets me know that, okay, there's customers out there that are willing to pay my price. I'm okay. I used to be so worried when these customers would be like, no, thank you. You know, I'm like, shoot. Yeah. But then. To be that way, too. I mean, you know, I, you know I, I got to the point to where it's just like, I know my self-worth. I know the, the work that I put in my craft. I know what I'm going to do to this vehicle when I'm looking at it. I know the type of love I'm going to give this vehicle when I'm doing it. So that right there, let me know right there, I got to tell these customers exactly what I want, just like they tell us exactly what they want. Mm-hmm. And, and and it's just a cut and dry thing because you don't want to, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to underpay yourself. You know, then you're working backwards. You're, we're working because, backwards to to try to catch up to what you're really trying to get paid. Exactly, exactly. I, I won't forget I, when they, uh, when, when if a I know I told me. $500, uh, <coughs> again, that's what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. Get that $500 because that's that's, that's my that's, standard I set myself at. That's what that's you worth. I find my work on. So yeah, you know what I mean? that's that's what you worth, you know. And 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 like uh, one one customer told me, if you're getting too many yeses, you're way too affordable. Mm. And 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 that right there, I will never forget, you know, because he was like, yeah, you can feel like you're the baddest detailer, that you're the best detailer, because. You're so swamped, but in reality, you know, you're killing yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, yes. if, if you have more yeses in your business, you're too affordable. You want, you want more no's. Right. I was like, I was like, what the heck? I was like, nah, I need yeses because I need money. He goes, yeah, raise your pricing. Guess what? You're going to stop being so overbooked and you're going to get better customers. And I was like, ooh. I was like, well, you know what? Let me try it. And I started raising my prices. Then I started getting more no's. Like, oh, no. (laughs) But then I got, like, those yeses. And it balanced. It literally balanced my agenda. Like, dang. You know, I went from doing five cars a day to now I only do one car a day. Right. And I ain't overworking myself. Literally, I work for two hours a day. And I get to go home. On time. I won't forget that conversation with that customer when he said, if you're getting too many yeses, you're affordable. You're just like the other people. You're just like the other detailers, cheap. I was like, dang, you know? So I raised my prices. Sasquatch Mobile Detail says success is not comfortable. Pressure, you have to be uncomfortable. For sure. Yeah. Definitely, you know? And I won't forget that customer when he said, you know, you, you want more no's in your business than yeses. It's like, at that point, now, <clears throat> he said, then you're living your true life. And it just hit me, you know, because I was like, dang, I've been working like a slave. But right. that was okay. I was okay with working. But when he said I was affordable, I was like, I don't want to be affordable. You know, I want to get good clients, you know, that are willing to pay, you know, my asking price. And then, you know, so I used to do five cars a day and I'd go home with 300 bucks and I was worked. Right. Now I initial starting price is 300 and then I can do one car and I'm good. Right. Right. You know, yeah. so I just do one car a day and, and that's, <clears throat> I'm okay with that. I'm very happy with making 300 bucks a day. Right. 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 Some people be like, oh, no, you ain't a hustler like us. I don't want to be a hustler. I don't want to be a hustler. I tell them straight up, I don't want to be a hustler. I just want to live <laughs> comfortably, you right. know? I just want right. to buy my 10 tacos, you know, every Friday if I can. 
<laughs> and pay my bills. I'm good with that. Good with you know? that. Y'all go out there and work all through the night if you want. I don't want it. Yeah. You know, I don't want it. <clears throat> so, but yeah, man, you know, this, this business has been very fun. I can say that. It's been a fun journey through the good, through the bad, and <clears throat> whatever else comes our way. You know, I think we're in it for the long run. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely, brother. Most definitely, man. Heck yeah, man. Well, I'm going to wrap it brother. up here. It was, it was, it was very fun. Um, I really enjoyed the conversation. I don't think, I don't think I've ever been in any of your lives, huh? Nah, nah, I don't, I don't think so. Think so, but uh, so we'll, we'll 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 do this more often. We'll do it again. Most yeah, definitely. for sure, for sure, most definitely. This, this was really fun. I had a pleasure, you know, conversating with new people and uh, hearing a little bit of of of, of you all story, you know. Uh, right. Because that's the beauty of truly meeting new people is is hearing you know their story. Because right. I feel like many detailers need to know more stories. Right? Yeah. And yeah. To I think it helps them with the decision making process if they're not in this business yet. I feel like hearing different stories, it's like, oh dang, man, I used to do what he did. Right? Right. If right. he can do it, I can do it. Right. Motivation, you know? Motivation. motivation. Um, and that's what we all that's what we're all here for, is just motivate, you know. Uh, yeah. motivate, uplift and help one another out at the end of the day. Most definitely, most definitely, man. You know? well, brother, we're going we to get together again and do this, sure, uh, this online and, you know, uh, helping each other. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, yes. Yeah, we're going to do this uh, again, man. You know, what, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll shoot your DM, you know. Yeah. I want to go live and, you know, we can get together and sit down and talk about some things we want to talk about on the live. And, and we For can sure. Go, we can go from there. Yeah. All right, my brother. It's a pleasure, my brother. Hey, it was pleasure, a pleasure, man. Be safe. Blessings. Yes. You do the same, man, and I'll see you soon. All right, boss. All right, now. Everybody out there, man, that's in the chat, man, y'all go subscribe to my channel, man. Watch Wax Shine Mobile Detail on YouTube, man. Y'all go subscribe to my channel and check out some of my videos. Uh, I'm kind of new to YouTube, so be patient with me, you know what I'm saying, with some of those videos, but... I appreciate you guys for joining the chat. We got somebody that want to jump in. Let's go. Oh, we got Shift coming back. We got Shift coming back. But y'all make sure y'all subscribe. And uh, Sasquatch Mobile Detailer, man, appreciate you for giving me a follow. I'm going to be sure to follow you back. You know. To the channel. Big Chef, what do you do, baby? Man, my phone died on me. <laughs> hey, hey, that's crazy because I ain't got but about five minutes. I ain't got but about five percent left on my. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I told Sorenzo, man, we gonna uh, we'll all get together again and uh, go live and uh, have detail talk one on one and uh, see if we can get some other details to come on and share their experiences. You know, talk about their journey and what they got going on, and yeah. you know, we're gonna take this uh, we're gonna take this platform a little farther, man, to give a uh, give us us detail with something to talk about and some people to talk to and learn some things and you know and support each other and and man, see what we come up with. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, so I'm gonna tap in with you, brother. It was good, man. I'm about to go in here and enjoy the family and uh. Get ready for tomorrow. I got I got these I got these vans I gotta go gotta go knock out. And uh all right, all right. Uh, I all thank here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate everybody in the chat, man. You guys make sure y'all follow. I will follow back. You guys make sure you follow shift the details. He will follow back and y'all make sure y'all tune in to my YouTube channel, Watch Black Shine Mobile Detail. And, man, we're going to see y'all in the future, man. And anytime I go live, man, y'all feel free to jump on, man, and have a conversation with me. It's all good and all love. Chef, I'm going to holler at you, baby. All right. Watch. Watch. I'll see you.